What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Paul. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19. We're back. No, we're not back. We're here for the first time. Well, we are back, kind of. Ringwood by Stevie. That's where I'm at right now, guys. We are jumping in. This is our multiplayer server that we are playing Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, at least for right now, on Twitch. Links in the description down below if you guys are interested. We're having a ton of fun here. And if you guys recall, this is kind of the, I don't really want to call it a let's play, but you know, we're going to be jumping in. We're going to be playing. So I guess it is kind of a let's play of sorts, but this is Ringwood by Stevie. Um, this is, like I said, our multiplayer map and I'm going to be making videos from it as well. So this is the first video in this little series that we're going to be doing. I just want to drive you guys through the homestead. This is a Westbridge Hills edit. You will recognize actually real fast. A little lag here. I just joined the game. So it's a little laggy. Uh, just, you guys will recognize this wall from Westbridge. Oh yeah, same wall. Gotta love it. Uh, this is actually redone. This was, Ringwoods was a map back in 15. It has been, uh, remastered, reimagined, I guess. I don't know what you call it. And, uh, uh, Stevie has added all the homes, or all the animals to the homestead here, as you can tell by, um, there being animals. We do have some sheep right now. We will be getting more animals as we go. And we are doing this basically with as few mods as possible. I am towing a modded plow, technically cultivator plow. Uh, I figured what a better way to start this little series by doing some plowing, right? You know, it kind of fits. Um, as you see, we do have some wool there, but uh, yeah. So we do have a little bit of animals and we will be getting all of them. And like I said, doing all of this with base in-game equipment as much as possible. I mean, we do have some mods like GPS and no collision camera stuff like that we actually are using a modded combine but the capacity is not turned up or anything like that we're using stock in game heads it's uh it's definitely a different way for us to play some farm sim because we are used to playing with a lot of mods everything has to be modded normally which is a fun way to play as well okay unfold hello thank you this thing takes forever uh but it's it's been fun it's actually been a lot of fun. Let me just check on these fields, make sure real fast. Okay, I was like, they don't need lime, do they? Was that why we didn't do this the other day? But anyway, we're ready to go. Do a little plowing, guys. Just a little bit. Why not, right? I figured it kind of made sense. Because, like, that's, you know, Primo, plow. You know, my gamer tag, Primo, plow. What? Okay. You guys get it, right? All right, good. Uh, like I said, if you're noticing any uh, little, little jitters, a little bit of lag here, as I just joined this map, it is very awesome. I really do um, enjoy this map quite a bit. But when you're first loading the server, there is just a hint, just a hint of lag when you join the server. And I did not drive around before hitting record. So that's totally my fault, totally on me. But it'll get better once we, you know, Kind of drive around our field. It seems like it's the trees loading in, maybe. I'm not sure. Speaking of trees, we are logging on this server. We are definitely logging. However, we are not using mods to log, which is a very interesting thing. We are using in-game equipment. We're using uh, basically a chainsaw tractor and loader right now. We have also chipped up some of what I would call like the crooked trees, you know? We have been shipping some of those, which has been uh, very interesting. Wait, which button on my mouse does which now? Hang on. Oh, it helps if I have my mouse up the right way. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. I have lift on my mouse, but like the whole thing. We're, we're good to go now. Don't worry about it, okay? Um. Yeah, so like I was saying, if you guys are interested in what we've been doing on this server, um... Those, all those videos will be on the second channel. We're playing this, like I said, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, uh, right now. And, uh, when schedule changes here soon, schedule's definitely changing, uh, the Twitch schedule. Christmas light season is, is coming up here real soon. Um, if you guys are interested, by the way, a little, little, just, I'm just shamelessly promoting everything right now. Uh, Wednesday, October 6th at about 7 PM central. We are actually going to be starting up Rust again. Rust is a ton of fun and looking forward to getting back into that game. So we're going to be starting that up on a Wednesday night. I will also be uh, basically adding Wednesday nights to the schedule for streaming. 
So for a little bit here, I'm going to stream every day but Sunday. And then once Christmas light season is upon us, which is starts, so I'm going to start like the week before Halloween. Um, then I won't be streaming Tuesday, Thursdays, or Saturdays during the day. I'll still be here Saturday nights. All right, I'm not here. I'll be on Twitch. You know what I mean. But it's just going to be a little bit of a different schedule, and it, uh, it'll be good, though. It will be good. So the plan is to jump into this map probably twice a week and make videos for you guys, kind of what we're doing, what we're up to. Uh, to be honest, on this map so far, we have we've been doing a ton of missions, tons of contracts, because you can make good money. <laughs> you can make good good money. Actually, here in a little bit on Tuesday when this video comes out, we'll be doing um, contracts. I was looking at them a minute ago. Eighteen thousand dollars to harvest field three. Heck yeah, field three is just up north here. I think that used to be what field nine. I can't remember. Something like that. Eleven. Whatever it used to be on Westbridge. Something like that. Some of the fields are uh, pretty close to what they used to be, but most of them, of course, are are different. Here we go with a little lag going on. Like I said, this is all my my apologies. I should have should have drove around before um, hitting record, but I will do that next time. I will definitely do that next time. But yeah, so I figure I'll jump in here and do a little work. It, it might be anything from cutting a tree down to making some TMR with in-game equipment. <laughs> oh boy we are we are let's see we're picking up straw loose and grass and off alpha so far we have assembled uh field 22 2 and 1 we bought field 1 and field 19 you start with 22 and 2 i believe is what you started with yeah uh, have not purchased any other land yet this has been a slow grind which is good that's what we wanted that's why we're not using any mods, because we want this map to last us until 22 comes out. That's the hope, anyway. That's the hope, because we've been kind of burning through maps lately. Of course, I've been using that big, crazy modded equipment, so you're going to burn through a map. I, unless it was a 64x map, you know, playing 4x maps with a 100 meter header, you're going to burn through a map pretty fast, you know. So this is on hard economy as well. So we're playing this one like... Kind of, kind of like basically day one as you can get with enhanced with a few mods. Okay. Obviously. And actually the mods, most of the, the, any, wow, well, I'm getting, getting twisted here on my words. Any of the mod, the equipment mods that we brought in are actually, they came with the map. So like this plow came with the map from Stevie. Okay. The combines that we have came with the map from Stevie. There's a modded trailer we have for semi truck that came with the map from Stevie. So any of that kind of stuff came with the map. Um, but our mods that we're running are basically like no collision camera, multiple missions, and GPS guidance steering. Which honestly, multiple missions should probably be a base game thing for 22. Let's be honest. My opinion, I would love to see it. Um, no collision camera, 100% should be an in-game thing. Again, my opinion for 22, I'd love to see it. And of course, GPS or guidance steering, some kind of GPS system, also, my opinion, should be in the base game. So when we were looking at mods or kind of talking about mods, it was like, okay, let's grab mods that we, at least I kind of thought this, like that should be base game. So guidance steering, GPS, no collision camera. You know, multiple missions, that kind of stuff. Should be base game. It really should be. So, anyway. Uh, plans for this map going forward, by the way. Just, we'll cover that roadmap real quick. Because that's actually a really hot question on Twitch. When I stream this map, they're like, what's your plans for this map? What's your roadmap look like? That kind of stuff. Um, obviously, world domination. Owning every single field. Um, I don't know. Okay. Owning all the fields and combining probably quite a few of them. Like we've done here with these three fields. Um, cause there, there is room for, um, combining fields, you know, here, there and yonder. Um, yeah, definitely, you know, nine, nine and 10 can be put together. We can put four into here, six, 21, seven, 19. That could all be a field someday. Um, 24, 23 could be a field, probably 17, 16. And then I'm not sure about, I'm not sure over there. I don't know. I haven't really spent a lot of time on that side of the map, but. 
Combining as many fields as possible, which means cutting down trees, and we are not using mods to cut down trees. We actually have been using the in-game wood chipper as well, which is, oh boy, that's an experience, you know? That is definitely, uh, definitely an experience with these, like, what I call the crooked trees, the non-fur trees. Um, they, they're, yeah, they're kind of a, a pair, uh, a bear to cut down, you know? Not a pair, but a bear. The first couple we cut down took us, I think we cut down three trees in an hour, which wasn't bad. You know, I'm okay with it. Like I said, I want this map to last. So if it takes us an hour to cut down a couple trees, that's okay. Actually, we went around field 19 the other day and we cut down basically just, just fir trees. Okay. We had Matt, my buddy, this was on Saturday stream. We had buddy Matt was on the chainsaw. Um, and then for some of it. For most of it, Carson was on a, a tractor with a loader. We have a couple John Deere tractors with loaders. Um, Farmer Nick was also in a tractor with a loader. And then I was running semi and then uh, Trent came and did all the stumping for us. Okay. Yeah, that's what we were doing. And it took us two hours to get around that field, basically, of just cutting and loading and it went out. Now, obviously, like Matt was done with the chainsaw a lot before, a long way before, uh, you know, all the trees were cleaned up and hauled in, but it's, it's, that's totally fine. Honestly, if it takes us that long, that's, that's fine. Um, cause you know, we were talking about this the other day, like just me. Okay. And I'm, I'm not trying to be like selfish here or anything, but obviously when I'm streaming the map, I'm in the map, I'm playing. So everybody else kind of, you know, they come and go and it's like, if they can be there, cool. If not, that's totally fine too. If the, the guy is helping me out, um, uh, helping me out on this map. So just my hours in a week on this map, not including these videos. Okay. Which I'm not doing any like off screen work. Basically either I'm streaming and we're working on this map or I'm going to record and we're working on this map or I'm working on this map. There's no like, oh, I got to stay up and plow this field tonight. No, when I'm done with this video, I'm going to stop this plow. If I'm not done with this field, which I won't be. And then I'll start doing it again on stream. Like I'll finish this on the stream later today. I'm not putting any like hours in off, off recording slash live streaming, which I'd record that too. So yeah, every second of this map is going to be played out basically in front of, uh, in front of you guys in a way. So, but what I'm getting at here is like, okay, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, right? Between those three streams. And this is assuming I, I do my normal time time slot, basically no extra time, which I, I do go over quite a bit. That's 20 hours a week. Okay. I stream five hours Tuesdays, five hours on Thursdays and 10 hours on Saturday. And like I said, I've only got about three more weeks of that schedule and then things are going to change, but 20 hours a week, basically I personally am putting into this map plus these videos, which, you know, this is only the first one. So if you think about it, even if I just have one other person joining me, that turns this into a 40 hour a week, 40 man hours, right? That we're playing this. Well, how many people did I list off when we were doing the woodcutting there? We had Matt, Farmer Nick, Carson, Grant, and myself. That was five of us. So those two hours, all of a sudden, you know, it's like, it's crazy. The man hours we're putting into this map. And I don't mean man by like man person hours. Okay. Cause you never know. We might have a, Women come join us doubtful, but you never know. It could happen. <laughs> you never know. Is yeah. So it's like it's crazy the amount of hours we're putting in on this map. And and actually Saturday, for the most part, like there were there were probably three of us in here all ten hours on Saturday. So that takes Saturday and makes it a thirty like person hour day, you know? It's like it's crazy, man. It's crazy the hours. So it's like no wonder we uh we kind of burn through maps, you know? But playing this one the way we're playing it, it is going to make it last quite a while. You guys can see we have $600,000 up there. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. $740,000 loan out right now. I would like to get our loan repaid before we kind of do anything else. Um, one of our combines is actually the least. We, we're not supposed to be leasing equipment on this map. We're supposed to be purchasing so that needs to get fixed. Both of the headers that we have for that combine, because we do have corn and soybeans, uh, or corn and grain heads, they, they're both purchased. But that combine, that second combine is leased. Uh, we do have some crop in storage, though. We have corn and some sun. That's not a lot. 
But we when we have some oh we have some stuff in storage we need to sell. We just didn't get to it the other day. We were harvesting and just did not get to it. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of crazy, but it's it's been fun, man. This map has been fun. Of course, like I was saying though, you know we played this map back on fifteen. We played Ringwood back in the day, and of course it's Westbridge, and Westbridge has got to be in the top. You know, just like base Westbridge, it's got to be in the top five of best maps ever for farming simulator in my opinion let me know what you guys think where does westbridge rate for you guys as far as best map for farms them like it's got to be up there in top five for me if not top three probably definitely top five definitely top five i know we've had this discussion before in the comments but like definitely top five for me and uh yeah so ringwood man we played it back in the day on 15 like i can tell you like we had these John Deere modded combines. Of course, John Deere combines weren't a thing in farm sims. So of course we got our modded ones and you know, we loved them. They were terrible combines, honestly, but we loved them and we ran the wheels off of them. We had the 7810 that would jump across the map. He would get out of it and it would just start jumping and it would go all the way across the map before you knew it. And you're just like, where'd my tractor go? Yeah. The good old days of 17 or sorry, 15 farm, farm sim 15. It was fun though, man, and it's kind of been uh, bringing back the uh, the memories just of playing Westbridge in general. You got to think, man. I've played Westbridge like eighty five times by now. I swear, <laughs> it's been fun. I know everybody's played Westbridge at least once, right? If if you've played Farm Sim, you've probably played Westbridge, except for maybe if you jumped into to nineteen as a newbie. But if you played fifteen or seventeen, you probably have played Westbridge or thirteen even. Cause that's where I started playing Westbridge. Of course, it was 13 on the Xbox uh, 360. I actually did, and I talked about this recently. I don't know if it was in a video or YouTube or uh, Twitch, but I did an epic harvest on Westbridge back in the day on Xbox. There's actually a video of it somewhere on on the internet, and I harvested every crop in every field on Westbridge stock. You know, I didn't make any of the fields bigger or anything, but I had to keep doing like canola harvest to be able to afford like sugar beet harvesters and come by like potato harvesters and all that stuff. So I actually did like three or four canola harvest over the whole map to be able to afford all the other stuff that I needed. I had like a thousand hours in that map by the time I got done. It was insane. It was so much, it was so much fun. It started just as like, Hey, I'm playing Westbridge. It's just like on my own i wasn't recording it i we weren't really streaming it back then and like it was just like hey this is like john's map this is my time to just like play farm sim you know and then uh it just quickly turned to like hey after i got like through the epic harvest it's like hey we should make a video of that before i sell it all and i did uh, and then I, I sold it all i think i recorded the selling part is what it was i'm pretty sure so yeah it was a good time though man it's westbridge is uh Westbridge is one of those maps. Like you just walk in that homestead and you're just like, oh, I kind of, it, it feels familiar. Like it's different, but it just feels familiar. Like when you, when you drive out of there and you make a left to go up to the shop, like that hill and the shops in the same place, it's just like, man, I remember this, you know? And of course having all the animals right here too. I really like that. I like the things that Stevie has done to this map. I really do. Of course I, and that's a bit of a biased thing for me because I pretty much like anything that Stevie does on Farm Sims. So, <laughs> you know, I've, I've been a, a fan of Stevie's for for a long time, for many, many, many years, since probably Farm Sim 15. You know, he made Ringwood, he had Black Rock, you know, those are some of the, the ones that really stick out for me back in 15. Like, it's so much fun. And uh, his maps have been so good over the years. They really have been, so... Yeah. All right, guys. So the goal was to get, you know, 15, 20 minute video. Nothing too crazy, uh, at least for this first one here, since I am just, you know, plowing a field. But this is what needed to be done on the map when I came in. I mean, there's probably some other stuff I could do. The animals are probably taken care of and they could be cleaned, but that's all. But we'll do videos where we get into messing with animals and, and making TMR and cutting trees and all that kind of stuff and and i talked about this before but maybe i'll even like bring somebody else in if they're around and i'm like hey i need to record that video i bring in somebody somebody that plays on the map with me i don't know 
We will see. That could be fun, but it could be uh, it could be a little different. I don't know. We will see. But the plan is to record two of these a week, so uh, hopefully I'll have another one out for you guys on Thursday. I'm thinking Tuesday, Thursdays. That's what I'm thinking. We will see how it goes for right now anyway. And um, make sure you guys check out the stream. The stream will be live here uh, in a little while. Switch.tv slash poopplot around noon central. And uh, links in the description. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your day. And as always, uh, toodles.